The guy said he heard a noise. He wasn't sure. And it wasn't his tire. It was cats meowing. If you heard a noise coming from the hood of your car, this is likely not what you would expect to find. The meowing would be a hint, though. <laughs> a man from Bell Vernon uh, who's driving from Bell Vernon to Brentwood, he ended up finding several cats in his car. Ross Cadotti shows us the rescue. There is an old gasoline advertisement that says, put a tiger in your tank. Well, at this get-go in Brentwood this morning, there were no tigers in any tanks, but there were a few kittens under a hood. When Eddie Reeves spotted this car with its hood up, he did what he thought he needed to do, but he had no idea what he was getting himself into. I pulled in to get gas, and I asked the guy if he needed a jump, and he said, no, I got cats in my car, and I couldn't believe what he said. But as this picture shows, the engine seemed to have as much cat power as it did horsepower, about four kittens in all. I believe that the mother let them all, uh, let them all up in there for the warmth last night. The driver, who didn't want to appear on camera, says he was headed in from Bell Vernon when he thought he heard his engine making bizarre noises. That's a ride from Bell Vernon to here. I don't 51. Yeah, that's that's one heck of a ride. Assisting in the rescue, Kathleen Provident, who managed to wrangle the fun size felines. Yes, very crazy. Next on the scene, Ray Nowicki, who formulated a plan to help the orphans telling his wife. I'll run up the house and get the cat carry and some snacks and we'll try to do the best we can. One by one, the cats were put in a safe place. One of the kittens may have scrambled up this drain pipe. Ray used food to try to entice it out. No luck. So we taped my smartphone to the broom, turned on the camera, nothing. We even played sounds of a mama cat. No signs of the missing meow. Now, as for the other cats, there was some good and unfortunately some bad news. Two look good, one doesn't look okay. Sadly, the injured kitten didn't survive. The other ones, however, are receiving veterinary care and are headed to a foster home. As for the one possibly in the drain pipe, Raina Wiki and his wife set up a box with some food outside the drain's exit. While this may be a story about some cats in a bad spot, it is also very much a story about some really good people who did their best to help them out. They are beautiful. I wish I could take them all home. In Brentwood, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News. Love that. <laughs> Love that so much.